Okay, he's just trying to bully you. Okay, we ain't here for that. Okay, baby? Stay low, keep that jab working now. Jones's good friend Derek Smoke Gaynor is seated in round two. Between rounds, after listening to Alton Merkerson, Jones nearly craned his head all the way out between the ropes to listen to whatever it was Gaynor had to say. So evidently he has a lot of respect for Gaynor. It's interesting, Merkerson has been with Roy throughout his entire career, and that's really rare today. It means about going on those 16 years almost. Well, Roy Jones has been uh, very loyal to people who work for him and to his friends. He's a good man, and he's helped a lot of boxers down there in his town. And in addition, he's one of the few guys that continually contributes a lot to helping Drew McClellan. He's been the chief benefactor to McClellan, who has been in distress ever since his 1995 fight with Nigel Benn. Of course, McClellan and Jones were rivals in the amateurs and might have fought each other as professionals. Yeah, you know what, it's still interesting that even though he knew that he may fight Gerald, when Gerald would fight a lot of fights, he would actually come to the fights early in Gerald's career and support and even worked in the corner with him one time. Now in round two, very much the same kind of action that you saw toward the end of round one. Tarver stalking now more aggressively, more concertedly, and seemingly accepting the role of the leader in the counterpuncher's war. And there's a hard left hand by Antonio Tarver. Jones tries to come back with a right to the body and a right upstairs and another right to the middle of the belly. You know, it's interesting. I'm watching Tava. He seems to still be giving Roy problems. Roy has not found a way still to get a sustained attack against him. And down goes Jones and a hard left hand. And that is the first that Roy Jones has ever been hurt. Only Lou DeVal ever knocked him down. Jones may not get up. And he makes it up. It's and over. Jen Lady stops the fight. And Jones is still on Queer Street. And that's amazing. What a statement by Antonio Tarver. One big left hand shot. He said, what excuses do you have tonight, Roy? No excuses. And now there's a fight breaking out in the ring. There's a fight between supporters in the ring, and our cameraman, Gordy Sager, has gone down. Jim. The action has been quelled in the ring. I'm not really sure what was going on, but I know that Gordy Sager, our cameraman, went down and appears to be okay. Alton Merkerson said, Roy Jones has gotten old, and you could see it because he was throwing one punch at a time, and he was measured by Tarver. And he never, never found a way to really get through to Tarver. And Tarver just patiently took his hand and really that, straightened that is, up. That is the first time in his career he's really been hurt. He's gone down before one time, but there was a perfect left hand. Roy never saw it coming. Roy is out. And Roy may be out of boxing. And that's why Tarver wanted to be the counterpuncher, because he answered Roy's right hand with a perfect left-hand shot that knocked Jones out. There it was. One previous knockdown against Lou DeVal, that was a flash in Madison Square Garden in New York. This is the first time Roy Jones has been hammered by a power punch, and it's cost him a fight. In two fights now, we have to say that Tarver has bested Roy Jones. Unquestionably. There's the answer. You know, Jones was still a heavy favorite in this fight, despite everything that happened last November. Here's his valiant effort to get up, but when he managed to get to his feet, at nine, I believe, Emmanuel, yeah, he was, was still wobbling. It, it, if he'd have got on up and they let the fight continue, he would have been seriously you know, and hurt. There, there's one other thing. Emmanuel, when a fighter has spent most of his career trying to avoid punches and never taking a lot of punches, when he gets nailed with a big punch, that's what can happen. And this was very interesting. That, you know, this Tava seems to have his number, and the punch he caught him with, it was very difficult to avoid that. Tava had just been hit himself, and he got right on top of Roy, hit him with a short punch that Roy never even saw. Right, you have to say, that Antonio Tarver not only talks a good fight, he <laughs> f 
fought a good fight. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And here's Tarver's ultimate revenge. He won't have to worry about what the judges see in the fight tonight. They can go home just as Jones can go home because Tarver sent everybody home with that big left hand. Antonio Tarver rules the light heavyweight division now. And of course, just as was the case throughout most of Jones' career, aside from Roy Jones, there isn't much significant big name opposition in the light heavyweight division. And suddenly now, there will be speculation, Emmanuel, we'll talk about it later, there will surely be speculation about whether Tarver wants to go up and test his southpaw style as a heavyweight because his height and his natural body style might give him the chance to do it. Let's go to Michael Buffer with the particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jay Nady reaches the count of 10. At one minute, 41 seconds of round number two. The winner by knockout victory. And once again, the light heavyweight champion of the world, Antonio. Soldiers, baby, I dedicated this fight to them. Yeah. Bring our people home from Iraq, baby, so they can reunite with their families. Tampa, Florida, Orlando, Florida, be on the map. I love you all. The man I loves to talk, all. and right now he can talk all he wants. Yes, he can. He can talk for the next few months if I he would wants tell to. Him to. Shut up. <laughs> I'd like to listen, quite frankly, because this is going to be a great interview. This man is as exciting once he opens his mouth as anybody we've had in the sport. You made that point before the fight. Yeah, I'd love to hear him talk. I mean, <laughs> it makes a lot of sense that he comes up with some good phrases. Oh, and there's going to be a whole <laughs> lot of I told you so.